Hi friends, welcome to another video of Big Tech Talk. In today's video, we will learn how to consume message from RabbitMQ using Java. So let's start the video. So this is my IntelliJ IDE. I am using the same project which I have used in my last video. And my pom.xml file is also the same. If you go to pom.xml file, you will see I have included com.rabbitmq as the dependency with artifact id as amqp client with 5.18.0 as the version. Now let me create a class which can consume message from rabbitmq. So right click new and java class. I will name my class as consumer as I am going to consume message. Now let me create a main function. Let's define a variable for queue name. If we want to consume message from RabbitMQ, we need a connection factory. So let's create it. New connection factory dot where and just hit enter. The IDE will create a variable for you. Now I will set the host name by factory.sethost, which is localhost. And then set the port number by factory.setport, which is 5672. Now I need a connection which will be from connection factory. So I will write factory dot new connection dot where and hit enter. Okay, looks like it might throw an exception. So let's add it. Okay, now we have the connection. So let's create a channel which will be used to consume the message. So connection dot create channel dot where and hit enter. Now let's declare our queue. So I will write channel dot q declare the first is the q name comma true comma false false and the properties as null as we know q declare function is optional over here if you are 100% sure that the q exists if you are not then it's better to have this statement if you start your consumer before the sender you won't have any queue and that may result in some bad surprise. And we know if the queue is already present, then queue declare function will not do anything. Now I will use basic consume function for consumption of messages. So I will write channel dot basic consume. There are ton of different variations of basic consume function. However, I will use the function with string which will be the queue name followed by a boolean value which will be the client acknowledgement and then delivery callback which will give us the actual message and then the cancel callback which is used if the server stops sending message to client. So I will give the queue name as queue underscore name and I will set the client acknowledgement as true. Now I will define new delivery callback and over here new cancel callback. Let's change these functions into lambda. I will print a message if there is some error in cancel callback. So s out error with the server. This message should only come if server stops sending us the messages. And in this section I will consume the message. So string message equals new string and then delivery dot get body. 
Let's print the message by s out. Message consumed and the message. So our code is ready to consume the message. Now let me first push some message by executing publish code. Okay, so we have sent 10 messages to our queue. Now let's execute the consumer. And these are the messages which are consumed by the consumer. Now let's go to RabbitMQ Web Management UI and check if there is any message left in the queue. We have set the client acknowledgement as true, so ideally there should not be any message. As you can see, all the message is consumed. Now if I remove the queue, what will happen? Let's remove the queue and see it. Scroll down and click on Delete Queue. Let's go back to the code and see. As you can see, our print statement in the cancel callback is executed. And this is because server has stopped sending message to us. So friends, we have reached to end of our today's video. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section. Do hit the like button and subscribe for more such videos. Thank you.